Hey, I'm JT Smith and welcome back to another marketing video. Today we're going over what I think are the three best keyword tools or keyword research tools to be more specific and why each of them deserves a place in my top three. So these three each fill a specific niche that I think um, is very important when you're looking and evaluating keyword research tools. So hopefully you find this useful. I just got finished doing a series where I put all of the keyword research tools on the even playing field. Uh, it's just in a playlist that I'll link in the description. And basically I put the same keywords in the same competitor set in those keyword research tools and saw how accurate they were, what suggestions they gave. And so if you're interested in seeing is the keyword tool you're interested in, um, is it, you know, accurate? How does it look? What suggestions does it make? Uh, then check out that series. And it's a, a great series for that sort of thing. But this one is more opinionated than that series. Um, and so to start, I'm going to give you my top one, which is not on the tab I'm at. The actual top one keyword research tool, it's actually the one I use, is SpyFu. And the reason that is, is because it has a ton of features, seems fairly accurate. And, um, and by fairly, I mean, I've never had a problem with it. It seems actually one of the most accurate of all of them, um, has all these features and it only costs $39 a month for unlimited use. Most of the keyword tools will cost you a hundred dollars a month. Um, and they'll even charge you for like, you know, a certain number of keywords you use. However, SpyFu is unlimited queries for 39 a month. So that's why I use it. I subscribe to SpyFu and it's gotta be number one on my list. Um, I'm not going to go over, you know, all the ins and outs of it because I did that again in the pa the last series in a more, um, non in a more objective way. And this video is a little more subjective, you could say. Um, so that's number one, SpyFu, most value, most bang for your buck. Number two is SimRush. Um, the reason I say SimRush is because I would say it's actually more robust than SpyFu in terms of the number of features, the quality and the quantity of data that it has. Uh, so if that's something you need, like you're running a pretty big operation and you need specificity, you need volume, you need all those things. Um, you need even more features, uh, or, or here's another use case is you might need, um, shopping like Google shopping listings. Um, and if that's you, then SimRush is probably a great idea for you. Uh, yeah, you, you can just tell by the sidebar, they have all these different features. And, uh, yeah, I, I, after using SpyFu and after going over SimRush, I will admit that SimRush does seem to have a few more features, but let's check out the pricing tab real quick. Here's why I don't use SimRush, uh, but it might be useful for your business or your, your use case. Um, the problem is it's 99, 95 a month. And so unless it was going to completely change or provide something that SpyFu couldn't, I wouldn't pay $60 a month more to use it. Um, and then the problem is this doesn't give you unlimited access. You still need to upgrade whenever you want unlimited ac access, like see extended limits. Uh, I don't think it goes into the limits down here, but oh, here, here's the limit. So, uh, reports per day, 3000 results per report, 10,000, like clearly they're putting limits even on their 99, 95 a month plan. So that's why, uh, it's gotta be number two, despite being one of the most robust, uh, keyword tools. Number three is keyword finder. The reason I chose keyword finder is because it's probably the prettiest of the SEO tools in terms of great user interface, super easy to understand. The data and suggestions seem pretty good. I wouldn't say they're as good as SpyFu or SimRush. The one thing with Keyword Finder is it's not as robust in terms of the number of features that are on this one keyword research tool, but Mangools, uh, which I think is a play on of Mango tools, um, they have all these other tools that you can access with your subscription. So that's why I do recommend Mangles for people who are like either kind of casually using the keyword research, or they just need something super easy to understand. They don't need to do as much digging as someone using SpyFu or SimRush. Uh, it's a great starter website, but it's number three on my list for the reasons that I already listed. Check out the pricing here, $49 a month, or basically it gets more pricey as you uh, want more, more limits and stuff, but you can get away with paying 49 a month for it. Or if you pay annually 29 a month for it. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and it makes sense why this is number three 
on my list. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next video.